Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool spirit of the St. Louis Telephone and this is Ron's equipment from California. And so basically he has a note here with the telephone and he's just saying that the telephone doesn't work and there's no dial tone. And so this is the initial checkout. We're going to kind of go through this telephone and we know that uh, from checking the telephone out already a little bit that it looks like it has had a power surge. And we talked to Ron about that, and he said, sure enough, I believe he had a power surge, and then it didn't work any longer after that. Now, we're going to go ahead and plug this unit in, and this unit does have dial tone, but you have to hit the speaker phone, and so this telephone is not open. It's actually shorted, and there is no control over the handset so let's go ahead and plug the telephone in. Now what we can do is hit the speakerphone. When I pick up the handset, there should be some dial tone. And there is no dial tone. So we want to go ahead and turn the speakerphone back on, turn it off, but it never unseizes the line. So the telephone has got some issues and we want to go ahead and take a look at the telephone and troubleshoot it. Now we do have the unit apart. I want to go ahead and unplug it. Set the handset to the side. Ron mentioned that he had someone else look at this telephone and they did not or was unable to repair it. And this gives you a look at the unit. Now, the bad thing about this PC board here is you have to desolder a lot of the lines just to take it out because you have to move it. Now, this side is not going to move because that's a ribbon cable that goes to the keypad. So you can lift it up, but all these other lines have to be desoldered before we try that. And it's a very difficult board to remove from the telephone and that kind of gives you a look at the unit so now we have to work on removing the board so we can troubleshoot and we'll go ahead and get a start on this unit so we'll take a short break we'll come back when we get further in the process of troubleshooting and repairing this telephone so we'll be right back Okay, we're back now, and we are in the middle of the process of troubleshooting and repairing the spirit of the St. Louis telephone. And so what we've got is we found some bad components, and they have been replaced. Now, I wanted to show you a transistor, and in the background here, you see a transistor checker. I want to go ahead and turn that on, and we have the transistor connected up we need to connect our third connection here and you're going to hear the transistor checker it creates a, a signal and that doesn't mean it's good or bad it just means it identified the uh, component and this is just one out of a few of the components that we've already found and we're just going to show you what it looks like when it shows that it's a bad transistor and I'll go ahead and hook it up now you can see the identification here now our switch here is in one position and we're gonna see if this transistor leaks and when I turn this knob you're gonna see this needle swing all the way across second position swings all the way across get rid of the noise if this transistor would have been good when I was checking it 
when I went ahead and switched it, this needle would have stayed in the good range. Instead, it shot all the way across in both modes. And that means that it's directly shorted. And sometimes you can find that with your meter. In this case, we checked with both the meter and the tester. So what we want to do now is we still have work to do because we've only got the telephone to a certain point. I'm going to go ahead and plug in our line cord here and it's going to seize the analyzer. Now earlier in the video we showed that this telephone was shorted. You couldn't um, pick the telephone up the handset and have the uh, analyzer seize the line and then when you hang up it would release it. It was just shorted and the only thing that we could get to come on was the speakerphone but we could never turn it off because it just wouldn't hang up so now we've got the telephone to a point where we can plug it in it seized the analyzer if you can see this red light here I'm gonna reach over and I'm gonna hang the unit up it unseized the analyzer it seized it, unseized, and seized. I'm going to reach around. I'm going to try to dial one of the numbers. And it still doesn't dial. So we're not dialing any numbers. We want to hang up. Should have dial tone. We do not have any dial tone on the receiver. But yet we have transmit. You can see how that red light gets brighter. So we know we have transmit, but we have no receive. And we're not actually dialing the number every time. So that's an issue. We'll go ahead and unplug the unit. So now what we need to do is we need to continue troubleshooting. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a short break and do that. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. And we are finished up with the repair of the Spirit of St. Louis telephone. And we're ready to start our final checks. We also want to mention that earlier in the video, we showed troubleshooting the main PC board and that we still had some issues. And so what we did was we continued to troubleshoot and we located our problems and they were resolved. So we are ready to start our final checks. I also want to mention our amplified pickup. This is so that you can hear the receive audio and we use this when we troubleshoot telephones, repair them, and on our final checkout. So we'll go ahead and set that there. And we also have a lot of controls on this telephone. Uh, we can store memory, and we have a flash button, a redial, speaker volume, ringer volume, an off and on switch for the light. We also have a light over here for the speakerphone. Now, I don't know the video will pick the lights up, but they do work. And this telephone does not have any type of power supply to actually run the unit. So all the voltage is coming from the telephone line. So it's a novelty, basically. And sometimes the lights on these units are not the greatest and the speakerphone option does work, but if they were powered by a power supply, they would probably work much better. But they are a really good telephone. And so what we need to do is go ahead and start a ring cycle. And we're going to be using the ringer volume and turning that up and down. And then we'll also turn the light off. So we're going to try to go through all the functions. And I'll go ahead and use the analyzer, ring the unit. I'll let it go one more time and I'll turn the ringer volume down. 
I also want to turn the light off. And that works. We can turn it back on. Our light is back on. We'll turn the ringer volume up. We'll turn our amplifier on. We'll let it ring one more time. And we'll give you some dial tone. We're going to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. I'm going to end in a 2. Now what I want to do is hit the flash button and the redial. So this will give us dial tone and redial. The analyzer will end in a 2. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and hang up and I'm going to store a number and you will not hear any tones. You have to have the handset off and laid down or you got to hold the handset. You hit the store button, the number that you want to store, then you hit memory button and the location that you want it in. So we're going to go ahead and hang up, give you some dial tone, press the store button. I'm going to store my number at the shop here. I want to hit the memory button and one. So when I hit flash, I should be able to hit memory and one. The analyzer is going to read back my number at the shop here, and it did. Now we're going to try that one more time. Hang up. Hit the store button. I'm going to store a time and temp number that we use. Memory 2. Hit the flash button. Memory 2. And it's reading back the number that we use when we have our final checkout and we uh, call a time and temp number. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and hang the unit up and we can use a speakerphone. I'll turn it down. I'm going to tap on the microphone after I dial a 2. And if you see that red light that red light is an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. And these do work. It would pick me up right now, although you don't really see the light flashing. But like I said earlier, the speakerphone option is not power driven really, other than the phone line. So it's, it's a novelty. There are good telephones, but the speakerphone part is a little iffy if you you know wanted to use it every day you need to get as close to the speakerphone as you can but we want to go ahead and hang up we want to give dial tone I'm going to turn the unit up I'm going to hit memory 2 and it's going to dial the number that we want back I'm going to hang up give you dial tone hit memory one and it read my number back at the shop here so now what we can do is I have a button on the switch box we want to go ahead and hang up, hang up. this button when I push it gives us a line out and totally takes the analyzer out of the situation and we can call a time and temp number and we'll go ahead and do that I'll give you some dial tone Memory 2. Good morning. Save money on insurance. Get a quote from Offenberg's Allstate Agency in O'Fallon and Belleville. Call 618-624-89. We can call my number and it'll be busy. We'll hang up. We'll try the handset, give you some dial tone. I'll go ahead and dial the number out this time. Good morning. When you need body work on your car, think of Offenberg Body Shop, 901 South Illinois, Belleville. Today is Wednesday, April 29th. The time is 12:19. Current temperature 58 degrees. Partly cloudy today with highs in the upper 60s, partly sunny with lows in the 
I'll hit flash. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. We can hang up. Turn the amplifier off. I want to go back to our analyzer. I want to give you some dial tone. I want to dial a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello, hello. So now that we know that this telephone has been repaired, we can return it to Ron, and he can enjoy this telephone once again. Very cool Spirit of the St. Louis telephone, highly collectible, very sought after, and they're really a very good telephone. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com, and you can also reach us at 618 two three five six nine five nine thank you for watching and have a great day